In this video, we're going to be looking at changing a broken slate, but rather than a traditional lead tingle or copper wire, we'll be using a hall hook. And I tend to use these on slate roofs in good condition already, or newer roofs where aesthetics are important, and the reason for that is essentially cost. At the time of making this video, a pack of 10 hall hooks will set you back, give or take, about £15. Now on a nice roof like this with a few cracked slates to replace, that's chicken feed. But if you're working on end of life roofs, as a lot of us tend to do at some stage, then a few packs of haw hooks will make repairs expensive in comparison to lead or copper tingles that's only going to cost you about a penny each. So this is the newish roof that we'll be working on today. Let's change that broken slate. This is the slate to be removed. And what I'm going to do now is gently lift the slate above to allow the slate rip to slide in underneath without trapping. Generally speaking, it's easier to pull nails out rather than to chop them. So I'm now feeling for the left hand nail and hooking it onto it so I can hammer the slate rip downwards. Sometimes with new nails, especially if they're quite long, it pays to pull the first nail out, say only three quarters of the way first, and then move on to the second nail and pull that one out fully. Softly, softly catching monkey. There's no prizes for breaking extra slates or the wooden laths underneath. With that done you should now have both old nails out and you can loosely tap down any nails in the lower row that may have been disturbed. Now grab your bag of haul clips and open them up. There are some instructions on the front and the back of the clips if you need a reminder but let's blast on and fit these now. When you pop a clip out it'll look something like this. At the top we have a location pin that slides between the two cheeks of the slates. This stops the hook from shimmying left or right. Next we have a choice of two nail positions, the higher one for longer slates and the lower one for shorter. Finally at the bottom is the sprung loaded hook that holds the bottom of the slate when it's in position. All you need to do is place the upper location pin between the two slates and make sure that you have the bottom hook approximately 10mm above the bottom of the finished slate line. And that will mean that when you nail through the desired fixing hole, you should be able to get a good fixing into the batten or lath that runs horizontally beneath the slates. Now just fix it into position with a galvanised or copper clout nail no longer than the depth of the batten underneath. That normally means a nail no longer than 30 to 40 millimetres. To finish off, grab your hook pull and your replacement slate. Making sure that the little bend in the hook is facing downwards, locate it onto the bottom hook, ready to apply some tension to it. Finally, take your slate rip and place it on top of the lath that you can feel hiding underneath the row of slates above where you're working. When that's in place, you simply slide the replacement slate up the length of your slate rip and into position. And there you go done. Remove your slate rip and go and have a cup of tea to celebrate. You've now replaced a broken slate with a good quality clip that's almost invisible. Well, that brings this video to an end. And if you want to buy a decent slate rip or some hooks, please visit the website via the links here or in the description bar. I hope that video helps. Thanks for watching.